Hey guys, I found the seven most awesome design tools that every graphic designer needs to know about and their artificial intelligence, super sweet. And I'm gonna show you those right now. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. All right, this is Adrian Boysell and you're watching the Adrian Graphics channel. Glad to have you back and we're gonna just jump right into it. So the first tool that I found that I really, really love that I wanted you guys to know, it's an AI tool, as I mentioned, is letsenhance.io. What a neat tool. I actually logged in, signed up for an account with one of my Gmail accounts, which you can do super easy. And now what you'll do, they actually give you five credits. I actually used one already uh, and I deleted it out of the system because I didn't do it right. So this is something I'm going to show you here. I'm going to click an image. We're going to find something like this. Maybe something like that. Maybe we'll go down a little further. I want to find another stage picture. Like, let's look at this one. Okay, I like this photo. Now, this one's probably a pretty decent resolution to begin with, so we're not going to use that. Let's go ahead and use this one. Now, that one's blurry. Let's see here. Let's just find, you know what? I'll just stick with the original photo I was going to pick. So let's just pick this one, right? I'm going to use this one of me on stage, okay? You can see here the current resolution is 1000 by 810. And what it's going to do is it's going to output a 14 megapixel photo that's going to be 4300 by 3240 and the print size it shows you everything and so what i did is i clicked on photo i hit enhance face details i hit custom and i went to 4x now what we're going to do is we're going to hit start processing and you could probably click these if you wanted to but just for this demonstration i'm not going to do that here we're going to hit start processing and this is going to take a few minutes to process uh, it actually doesn't take that long while this is processing i'm going to ask you for a huge favor you're going to love these tools i still have six more tools to go and you're going to see how awesome this photo is when it's all said and done but i would really appreciate it if you hit that like button hit the subscribe button so you can get more awesome content like this here we go so now you can see i can download this photo perfect and what i'll do is i'm actually going to open it up in my finder i'm going to create a new folder I'm gonna open up another window, I should say. I'm gonna go back to my Adrian Promos photos. Here we go. Okay, and we're gonna drag this one in here. Boom. Now, what I can do now is I can open these up in Photoshop. And let me just show you something here so you can get some really good perspective. Adrian Promo photos, you can see here. Here's the, the new one and here's the original. We're gonna open these both up. Now you can see these both side by side. Now let me click over to this one real fast. I'm just gonna scale this one up to 100%. There we go. And so you can see, look at the difference and it actually did warp my face a little bit but overall you can see the difference in size i was able to really increase the size of this photo and it obviously did its best to increase it without losing my face uh, maybe i can adjust some settings and do things a little bit differently but i wanted to show you this because this let's enhance allows you to enlarge photos and really get a good quality photo um, this was a great example i did that little adjustment on my face uh, and maybe if I hadn't have done that, it would have come out better. But this is just something I wanted to show you. So that's number one. Now let's jump over to number two. The second tool that I wanted to show you guys, and this one's really neat. Let me close this out. Is called, it's an AI experience. It's called AutoDraw. The website is autodraw.com. So let's just start drawing. So we're gonna draw something and let me grab my mouse real fast. Let's just draw something simple. So I wanna draw a duck. So hey, we're gonna go in here. Hold on, I'm gonna hit draw a duck's beak and I'm using my mouse so don't hate me here but I'm gonna draw his head All right I'm just gonna finish this up boom look at that so now it gives me a bunch of different options of ducks there's a swan there's a flying duck so I can actually pick like this would be easy right this could be simple I can change the color of it there we go so I can adjust it to red I'm sure I could probably even adjust the thickness uh, and do some other really neat things here, but it's a smart AI tool and let's draw something else. So I'm gonna draw a car, it's gonna be a terrible car, but with a mouse, it's a lot more difficult than with like a tablet. We'll just draw, maybe we should just draw like a SUV. Okay, we'll come up in here. Look at that, how incredible. And I wanted an SUV, which is gonna be more like that. What a time saver, instead of trying to recreate the wheel, I'll do it all from scratch i can actually use this little graphic i can size it i can use it as an icon i can do whatever i want with it so this is a really neat tool uh, i'm sure there's lots of other features you can fill it 
probably here. Let me see. Actually, let me click back off of here. I'm use my select tool. I'm going to select this guy. I'm going to use the fill. See if I can fill this thing. See that? I can even fill it. There we go. Fill those feet. And now I have a nice silhouette. Um, this is just a really great tool if you wanted to do AI and not have to spend a ton of time trying to draw everything from scratch, especially if you're uh, you don't have a Wacom Cintiq tablet and you just need to get a nice object. This gives you a really great start. So this is a neat tool I wanted to show you. Now let's jump over to number three. Number three is a new one that I've been using a lot. I've been using this because it just saves so much time, especially when you have complicated hair. You can spend quite a bit of time, even when Photoshop, removing backgrounds from images. And this AI tool allows you to do it very easily. So let's just grab a photo. So let me get something that's a little bit more detailed. Say I love this photo here, right? It's got the garage door behind me. I'm going to click this, select it. Now watch this. Boom. Look at that instantaneously. Now there's a preview image that's 577 by 433 that I can download right now. This is plenty big enough for you to use for Clubhouse, for Instagram, for whatever platform that you want. And if you want to download the HD version, you can. Here's another pro tip. If you take that photo, drop it into Let's Enhance, make it even larger, then you can pull out an even bigger version of this. So if you needed a huge picture of yourself, you can use those two tools together. Just a little pro tip. But this is really good. I'm actually going to download this because I don't need the big version of it. And I can use this for free. There is no cost to do this. They have some paid options, but this is a really, really neat tool. Let's jump over to number four. There's a website called Rosebud. They actually have an app that's available on the Apple iStore, the iTunes store, and it's got a wait list for the Google Play Store. So I went to their Talking Heads app, and I'm actually going to do this for you guys instead. So you can upload your own photo. So I'm just going to grab one of my photos of me. There we go. Now we'll do it again. Here we go. Try this one. And then we're going to hit generate talking head. And again, if you are just now tuning into this channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, so they show more of this great content to other people just like you. We want to make the design industry better. Oh, look at this. Let's see what happens. What a trip was able to take a static photo of me and actually make me talk. I'm sure there's some other ones you can see here. I can scroll through these. Looks like there's voice and video, Mariah Carey, all kinds of people here, Santa Claus. You can pick your own or you can use your own video. This is pretty incredible. So there's some smart tools. And I just wanted to throw that in as a bonus. So back to what we were doing. The next one that I wanna show you, and this is number five. This one is called This Person Does Not Exist. It's thispersondoesnotexist.com. And as you can see here, if I refresh, it'll give me a new photo every time. If you couldn't tell by the title of this website, none of these people actually exist. So if you need a headshot of a person for your website, for a photo, for whatever the reason is, you can do this without worrying about any type of claim of copyright claim or photo claim. So the next one I wanna show you is actually within Photoshop. In the most recent update of Adobe Photoshop 2021, they implemented NeuroFilter. So let me just show you what that looks like. Look at my beautiful girl here. Uh, I'm actually gonna use her as the example in this one. She's so cute, I have to. Uh, and you're gonna be able to see inside of here, you're gonna go to Filter, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see Neural Filters. What you'll do is you'll open this up, it's gonna select the picture of her and then you're going to go into this beta. You'll see beta right here. You'll click this. And then when you go into beta, it's going to take a second to load. You'll switch on smart portrait. And then inside of smart portrait, I can actually click happiness. So you can see here, I can click this, turn this on, and I can actually adjust these sliders. And it'll take a second to load. And you'll see her face change here in just a second. There we go, it's loading. You can see the little loading thing here. This is all powered by AI, look at that. Now I can even do something else. I can actually change, go back and I can go down from happiness and reduce that. And of course she's a baby, she's only two, so I can, look at that. How incredible is that? How about facial age? Let's age her just a little bit. Not that I want her to get older, but let's just age her just a tiny bit and see what happens. So we took away her happiness. Oh, it's so sad. And then we just aged her. Let's age her a little bit more. Let's see how far this thing can really go. 
Look at this. How incredible is that? And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do... Like, you can adjust the head direction. You can see here, these are all the different settings and features that come in here. You can do surprise. Look at that. I already made her look older. I'm going to go in here and adjust some surprise. We'll actually make her look a little surprised. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to bring her happiness back because I just can't stand to look at her not happy. She's just such a happy girl. So let's see. Let's bring that back. There we go. And it'll take us just a second to load. Look at her. She's back. And then I can even adjust the hair thickness. So as you can see, it's adjusting the teeth based on the age, which is pretty incredible. I can also adjust the hair. And it's going to take a second here. Look at that. You can adjust the thickness of the hair. And it says head direction. So I'm curious to see what this does. So let's see what happens here. This AI tool is just absolutely incredible. I had to include this in the list. Wow, it actually moved her head. And if I go actually the other direction, you'll see it'll probably move her head the other way, off back off to the left. Look at that, how incredible. This tool is phenomenal. If you haven't used it, you definitely gotta check it out. It's in the newest update of Adobe Photoshop. And this is just another reason why I love Adobe Creative Cloud. And now number seven, and this is the last one I wanted to show you because this one is super neat. It's called Chroma. So we're going to go ahead and hit the get started button here and we're going to choose our color palette, right? So we can actually import one and you'll get data from a different device or we can just pick one. So let's just say I want to use a muted dark red. I want to pick a color palette. Like I like this rich dark red a lot. I'm just a fan of red, right? This is going to help us come up with really great color palettes. So we'll pick this one. Let's see here. We can keep scrolling. Um, I want to find another version of red. I really like this dark blue. Okay, we're going to click that. Let's see here. We'll find another red. That one's pretty nice. Muted midtone. Okay, a rich dark red. I'm just curious to see what happens here. Choose a set of your 50 favorite colors. These colors will be used to train the generator algorithm personalized for you. For best results, choose a wide variety of hues, values, and saturations. Happy picking. So I guess I'm supposed to collect, collect 50 different samples. So I'm going to do another one. This muted dark red's nice. I like this rich dark red. I like this dark blue. I got to get 50. This is going to take some time. So I'll come back here in just a moment when I've picked all my 50. All right, so it's taken a while, but I've also got, I'm almost got all the way through this. My rich dark magenta. Okay, so if you're satisfied with your selections, go to train your generator. There we go. Good luck. Start training. Generating data. Now, I don't think this is going to take very long. I've heard really great things about this tool in terms of generating color palettes. You can see here, it's actually already going through it and it's an AI tool. So this is really neat. I'm curious that this actually is not a secure page, which is interesting how it says that up there, but who knows, we'll see what happens. Wrapping up, here we go. Welcome, Chroma is essentially an infinite scroll of color combinations. Above you can pick your different templates to view your pairing. So we're gonna hit next. You can search to generate specific colors, hues, tones, and tints and combinations to read the tips and more. And it's gonna have this other little tool tip. We're gonna go ahead and skip past that. Whoops, dang it, I need to close that out. So you can see here, here's a bunch of different color palettes and I can find which one works for me. Look at these, these are beautiful. I really like this color combo. I really like this one a lot. I'm trying to find my actual color codes. Here we go, this is the one that I would use. So you can see here, I can swap colors and I can make this a favorite. I really like this one a lot. Red Berry and Mystic, the quick brown. You can see here, just the color combo just totally fits my personality. And then I can see the details. So you hit this little checkbox in the corner, I can see the details. It's called Red Berry and Mystic. I really love this one. RGB, here's your hex code you can plug right into Illustrator. Here's your RGB code that you can plug right into Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator or any program that you use. As you can see here, this gave me a ton of color options uh, and, and choices to pick from. Uh, if you want to have a lot of really nice color palettes, this is going to be a big help for you. Uh, it does take a little bit of work up front to get the thing started, but overall, this is a great tool. So those are the tools for you. Number one, let's enhance. Number two, auto draw. Number three, remove.bg. Number four, this person does not exist. 
number five was the tool that actually didn't work on us here, which was Deep Art. So I replaced it with the Rosebud tool and Talking Heads, as you saw. And number seven is Chroma. So those are the seven tools that I wanted to give to you guys today. I hope this helps. I hope this was fun because I know I really enjoyed it. I got to learn a little bit more about these tools. I just heard about them, so you're getting first look at them just like me. And I just look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Keep looking up.